so we just finished picking up um, all of our traps from outside. Now we have to start thinking about transforming the shack from kind of just like having our stuff everywhere um, to having our cots up, make a little cook area so we can start thinking about dinner. It's approaching five o'clock. Um, if you watched last year's overnight camping video, we just had so much more space because we could keep things outside. Obviously, this year's a little bit different. It's We'll probably put some stuff outside. The snow's mostly done for now, um, but we have to bring in our pack baskets so our reels on the traps don't freeze overnight, so that will take up some space in here. Um, yeah, so it'll be a little tight, but we'll make it work. So stay tuned for that. Chef Chris today firing up the stove. You gotta push that knob in, that's the thing. There yep. we go. Boom. Oh. Boom again. <laughs> Come on, baby. Looks hot. I don't know why I keep pulling the igniter. Yeah, I don't know why you did either. Yeah. Alright, so dinner time's firing up. We Look have it's inside the shack, it's 56 degrees. You can see over there on our little wall thing. So that's comfortable for now. Yep. But yeah, we're going to heat up. We got some leftover pulled pork and macaroni and cheese from this week. So just an easy dinner. And then we'll cook a nice breakfast in the morning. <laughs> have some pulled pork yum not the most appetizing thing in the world but it's actually delicious might not look it but yum what'd you put in the crock pot and you got uh it was a sweet baby rays or what was it yeah i think it was sweet baby rays yeah mm. that's so good macaroni mac and cheese macaroni time oh baby don't burn my thumb please this. Wow. This is, How does that look? Great. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. All right, guys, we are going to enjoy our dinner. Oh, a little splash of little liquor, <laughs> and we'll be back later. All right, we got our sleeping arrangement all set up. Boom. Got our two cots together this year. Got the heater on the wall. Live. Body heat, baby. <laughs> yeah, got the fan and the lantern i mean the uh lantern behind the fan but the light and fan combo pushing the heat down to us yeah all right we're gonna go to sleep and we will see you tomorrow morning and hopefully get on some trout that's the plan Good morning. It is around 6 a.m. We are just getting up. Of course, it's not super light out yet, but we'll be able to see a little bit of what we are doing. I know the lighting in here is not ideal. Um, it's still kind of dark, but clearly heater kept us warm all night. We kept the shack at about 58, 60 degrees, so it was really comfortable. Um, the ice was doing a lot of settling last night, but that's bound to happen. Um, our friend Nick is going to meet us out here this morning. We're going to fish a little bit. It's supposed to be calmer and not snowing today, but the wind does say it's blowing 16 out still. Um, so that's too bad, but yeah. So follow us along for another day of fishing. midway setting up this morning nick just showed up hi nick hi. <laughs> it's i don't know 6 30 ish maybe nice little sunrise starting to peek up how'd you sleep last night chris not the best but it was warm it was a lot warmer than last year we kept the tent at about 59 or 60 degrees all night so 
That's better than the 43 it was last year. So we're making improvements. I think these are little otter tracks possibly. You can tell they have like a little place up in there. And they're fresh since the snow, or during the storm anyways. Oh, they go over there too. Sometimes we see them out here, but I haven't yet. There's like slightly less wind, it's pretty calm actually, but once we get around certain points and in certain coves, it picks up a bit, but we're almost done setting up traps, which is great. We're gonna fish until about noon time today. I'm working on getting the shack cleared out of our sleeping stuff. The real concern is we got about five inches of snow on the ice yesterday. So the trek out of here, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's gonna be interesting. Dragging sleds in this is uh, not as easy as it sounds. All right, guys, we got coffee on this morning. Most of our traps set up. I gotta retie one here before we put it in, but coffee will make it all worth it. Side, nice. Yeah. Second flag That's of the morning. Ah. Shoot. He's seen some stuff. He just. Dang. It's a bummer. It is. I'll put my dry jacket in, I guess. What do you got, Lou? We got some hot cocoa coffee time that we're doing. And got these little poured in, like so, and then try not to burn myself. Oh golly. A little mixy mixer. And we're gonna repeat that two more times. Flag number three. How's it feel to join the having a flag today? Gotta give everyone a chance here. You can't just come out and outfish everybody, then no one will fish with you. I figured nine o'clock, time to get in the game. I snuck out here and put a banana on the end of this line. I'm gonna let Chris reel it up. We can hear the spool going, so that's, I guess, a good sign. Didn't take much, as much out as that pickle the other day, so I can see where it's tied on there. No, I don't think. Okay, he's there. There you go. Watch your your sleeve. Oh my God! The seventh pickerel. I think I lost count. Folks, this is not what we are after in the least bit. Yep. Oh, What you got? Oh, what is it? A pickerel. Oh yeah. my gosh. You got it. Seriously? How many is that, Chris? Eight.
care what it is, if it's a, anything other than a pickerel. Okay, should I wait on the drone? All right, we gotta go get a flag and then we'll resume the cooking. for anything but a pick roll, anything. Okay. Oh my gosh. A stick and a pickle, are you kidding me? That was literally just a pickerel, so back to cooking. so many pickerel they and are now they're fighting attacking us. they're fighting back so it's approaching 11 30 ish it's just been like pickerel after pickerel after pickerel not just this morning but like yesterday too and it's just brutal like we've fished this spot for years i don't know the water seems lower than it normally is we don't know what's going on i mean i think there are trout maybe hitting our our bait um but we're not nearly as much as i mean i fished here a lot just days not overnights and we've had plenty of trout luck just go figure we're cursed every time we go overnight we can't catch a trout yeah uh, so we're gonna be thinking about picking up here shortly and wrapping things up but it's been an awesome time i mean camping oh yeah. on the ice is just like so peaceful even in a blizzard thank you guys so much for tuning into our first video of the year many more where this came from thank you guys so much for your continued support if you like what we put out here feel free to subscribe we would very much appreciate it all right guys so we're just starting to load the sleds up um, we've got four sleds between the three of us and we came out on the ice obviously yesterday but we got about five inches of snow and it's pretty slick so we're gonna try to go out through the woods we're gonna go up and see how far the road is right now exactly should be interesting yeah. getting out is always the hardest part We're still praying for that pickup flag so the road there's the ice right there the road is literally right there so that makes our exit pretty darn easy we just have to come through the woods a little bit but way easier than dragging those sleds through about five inches of ice and about a half a mile and it was just i can't explain how it is not easy dragging right now all right we got a plan so shack's off floor is we're taking the floor off some pieces are just kind of frozen down <laughs> The edges were frozen, which we expected, but... Oh, it's not too bad, right? No, I mean, like, the edges of the shed. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep cleaning up, and we're out of here. God bless me, or no? Yes. Thank you. Just waiting for uh, Olivia to go get the truck. This is giving an idea of... Our overnight kind of gear that we got going here two jet sleds or pack baskets and we got this big jet sled kind of has all our sleeping gear all right we're all loaded up let's get out of here we'll see work. you on the next adventure right Liv? see you on the next adventure fish often adventure always <laughs>